Have you been wondering about what's going on with the magnetic reversal? Are you confused about the rotational pull of the Earth and the magnetic pole? Well, we're going to try to just clear that up for you tonight. But Earth enters the unknown currently. As the magnetic North Pole continues its push towards Russia and crosses the Greenwich Meridian, the World Magnetic Model version 2020.0 has just come out. Now, what does that mean for you? Are you listening? Earlier this year, the U.S. National Oceanic Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, the frauds of all frauds, and the British Geological Survey, which I know very little about, were forced to update the World Magnetic Model because the British Geological Survey is what is really determining that. So earlier this year, they were forced to update the World Magnetic Model a year ahead of schedule because they only update it every five years because it shouldn't be moving quickly. It shouldn't be moving in at such a rate that it destroys traffic, maritime traffic. That's boats. It shouldn't be affecting airline travel, but it was. So they updated it earlier this year as an emergency. Due to the speed of which the magnetic North Pole was shifting out of Canada's Arctic towards Russia's Siberia. Wow. Now, the BGS and the U.S. National Centers for Environment Information has released a new update. The World Magnetic Model was updated just days ago. And it was updated in a way that only scientists with software and prior knowledge of graphing and other information could actually gain this data. It's almost as if they're hiding it from the public. The fact that the magnetic pole has been shifting rapidly since 1904 in the Northern Hemisphere and just in decades in the Southern Hemisphere is news to the uh, mainstream media. It's news to you. It's news to many. And when they find out, they're like, well, why aren't they telling us? Well, you must have just got here. Because the pole shift, the magnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift, not the rotational pole, causes mass extinction and the reorganization of civilization. And this cycle has been hidden from the humanity that you're living. Starting in the 1940s, heavily in the 1950s, extending to the 1960s with disinformation and ending up today in the culmination of the shift when it's actually happening, people are starting to pick up what actually has occurred. Now, magnetic reversals are very rare on Earth. That's when the pole shifts from north to south and south to north. These geomagnetic reversals, the last one was 780,000 years ago. But we're not talking about this. And this is, in fact, what you can find on Wikipedia about geomagnetic reversals. They never happen. There's this, like, you know, 25 since the beginning of time. But this couldn't be further from the truth. This is just from lack of information. What you're looking at are the known geomagnetic excursions. These are the magnetic excursions of the planet Earth, and they happen at regular periodicities. Take a look at this. Every 12,500 or so years, the magnetism of Earth shuts down, and it collapses towards the equator. And very rarely does it flip to the opposite polarity. But every 12,500 years, the magnetic field of Earth breaks down and it collapses. And the poles head towards the equator. Now, this is bad news because, well, first of all, it's good news. It's not the rotational pole. If the rotational pole was flipping, we would all be dead. But it's the magnet magnetic pole. Now, the magnetic field or the magnetosphere is what protects us from cosmic radiation and other dangerous 
inputs from space, including outbursts from the sun. Now, Earth's magnetic field is weakening 10 times faster than ever before. And that's because we're living the next excursion. So if an excursion happens every 12,000 years, and the last one was 12,000 years ago, you do the math. Yeah, <laughs> the math is simple. When the Earth's shield, which is the magnetosphere, starts to weaken exponentially, you can guarantee that we're in a magnetic excursion. And you can see here the data points from 2000 through 2015 quickly dropping off the map. And this is our magnetosphere weakening. At the same time, the magnetic poles are shifting. So as scientists, we start to add this all up together. The magnetosphere is weakening. Cosmic rays are increasing. We're going into a grand solar minimum. And the pole, the pole, the magnetic pole, not the rotational pole, the magnetic pole is shifting. It's shifting like it's never done before at speeds that are unprecedented. Now, at the North Pole, top left, the poles wandered around the rotational pole, which was here for quite some time up in Canada. And sometime during 1904, they started racing across the continent where they are now today near Siberia. Now, the South Pole, bottom right, is a different story. It was slowly moving until recently when it has rushed recently off of the continent. And this recent rush of the pole off the continent in 30 years has gotten many people wondering, what's going on? What is going on? Aren't you wondering what's going on? Well, luckily, the rotational pole of Earth is fixed. And it's fixed in such a way that it results in the precession of the equinoxes, which the ancients have encoded in all of their archaeology and all of their astronomy and all of their structures. All of their architecture shows this 23-degree tilt the procession of the equinoxes. But it's not the rotation of the earth that's shifting. It's the magnetosphere. It's the magnetic... Well, it's, it's bad news. The magnetic field is going into another excursion. And the US-UK world magnetic model is out. Just three days ago. And what we're looking at first is the annual change in total intensity. And you can see that the two bullseyes here and here is where the change in intensity are occurring. And that means the magnetic field is moving towards these positions. Now, what do I mean by that? Well... <laughs> Let's just take you to the new positions of the magnetic poles on Earth. When you take out a compass and you look at where that magnet, that needle points, when it points north, it's pointing here. When it points south, it's now pointing here off the coast of Antarctica. The two poles of Earth, the magnetic poles, are nowhere near the rotational poles. Let me show you where they are. Here at zero is the rotational pole of Earth. And down here, the magnetic poles are now converging towards the equator. The North Pole is here, just north of uh, Siberia, and is moving quickly down this line that I've drawn in black. This is the magnetic field lines between positive and negative. Positive in red, negative in blue. And here, this is where the South pole, the magnetic pole in the south is now off the coast of Antarctica, almost near Australia, and it's moving towards Indonesia. They're converging on the star based on these field lines, the main field declination lines. This is what I've drawn here in black. And just in a few years, in less than a few decades, they will be converging on this space. That is how pertinent this is. Now, if we look at the total change in intensity, 
this is where these poles are going to be drawn to. This is the maximum intensity change here somewhere over northern India and in the middle of nowhere here. And this is where the pole, which is currently here, the southern pole is going to be moved towards this position. The northern pole up here is going to be moved down towards this position rapidly. This is happening rapidly before your lives. And many people are asking, why are people so sad? Well, it's because we're living in a fake environment with fake food and fake news and fake people. And it's poisoning our souls, which is why you're here. Because you want to know about the known magnetic excursions and their effects on Earth. Well, you're currently living the current magnetic excursion, which we can call global warming. It's the Al Gore rhythm global warming magnetic excursion. The last one was the Gothenburg. Prior to that, that the Lake Mungo, then the Mono Lake, Le Champ, Vostok, North Atlantic, and so forth. But on a regular periodicity, and we've forgotten about the past. If you want to learn about what's happening in the future, please subscribe to our new channel, Magnetic Reversal News, where we're going to be updating the current situation of your magnetic declination, which is being updated live, whether you like it or not. The poles are moving towards somewhere in the Pacific west of Indonesia. Look at that place, the Indian Ocean even. The powers that be don't want you to know this. They've been hiding it since the 50s, and it's happening now. So I would expect this information to be shut down. Oh, like nobody's business. Which is why I implore you, please, subscribe to our new channel, Magnetic Reversal News, and get the news you need to know about what's going on with the planet. Because the powers that be don't want you to know. And they have their panties in a bunch. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. The poles are shifting. Not the rotational ones, folks. Whew, thank God. Be safe.